guys welcome back to my channel so here we are it's mid-year um, I have been requested to do this video um, because I've been showing a bunch of vintage coach bags uh, lately and by lately I mean the last probably two years now um, it's been quite a journey I have you know bought and sold bought and sold bags um, some of them didn't work out for me but they are um, good bags nonetheless. I don't take it against any of the bags that I've sold. Um, they are really just all about, you know, what I would use and what I won't use. And I think that I am ready to hang my, my coat and not, um, you know, not buy any more vintage coach bags. I've got here, uh, how many bags? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 bags in total. And they are of different colors and I love all of them. Um, I don't think I will be selling any of these uh, in the near future. I, I think I'm pretty happy with them already as it is. Um, I might add more if I find any style in, in a color that I want. But right now, I really can't think of any more um, styles to add because I got quite a few here that that really appeals to me, and I'm not really into the whole um, you know '70s coach, the Bonnie Cashin era bags. Uh, that's not my thing. I know they're highly sought after, but it's just not my thing. <laughs> so anyway, um, let me just uh, go you know, bag by bag, and I hope that I can keep this video short because we have 13 bags to go through, but I'm not going to open any of them. I'm just going to show you the 360 and that's it. So first up is the, let's go from left to right. So this is my Vintage Coach Casino bag in black with brass. Um, very, very cute bag. I love this to bits. It's very small. But that's what I like about it. It's got a top handle. You can hang the straps off the D-rings on top. And it's perfect. It's good to go. Um, inside would be the same exact, you know, um, setup as other bags. It's just one main interior and a zip pocket there. And I use this with a guitar strap over there so you can see it. And that's it. Um, and I put my phone at the back and it fits perfectly. So... I can't complain. So number one, Vintage Coach Casino bag in black. Number two is my Dinky. So this is the original Dinky. Not the original original like the 70s Dinky, but um, for the most part what Coach ran away with in the 90s. Um, one main interior, tubular strap, and a zip pocket at the back, and that's it. These are very simple bags, and I mentioned this in my last Vintage Coach collection video, that the, the reason why I love the Vintage Coach line, in at least the 90s uh, bags that they had, just because they were all made very beautifully, um, thick glove tan leather, and just simple. Like, there's not a ton of pockets, there's no, like, three compartments to deal with, um, and most of them have a back, back pocket. Um, unfortunately, this one doesn't, see? It's just a seam. It's not a back pocket. But this dinky was gifted to me by a friend. And it's custom colored to rust. So this is kind of what rust look looks like. Um, but this is colored. So yeah, I like it nonetheless. It's got a tea charm by made by one of our other friends. So yeah, that's number two. And number three would be my... Um, Coach Court bag in camel and nickel hardware. So nickel is the silver tone hardware. Um, side view of the bag, back view. It's got a slip pocket that goes all the way to the bottom. So you can put more than your phone inside actually because it's a big pocket. <clears throat> and then inside you've got the one slip pocket in front. And then the main compartment has the, the zip at the back wall there and just the main compartment there. So, yeah. I've shown this bag so many times already. Um, it's it's alike to the Coach Cassie. Um, and also, you know, when, when the Cassie first came out, 
they all talked about the Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse. So it's kind of the same setup, but really the coach court is much roomier than the Matisse. Um, I've had that bag and I can honestly say this is a bigger bag slightly and because it's not um, compartmentalized into three um, that you can fit more in this coach court. So there you go. Fourth bag is um, my coach Janice. So this Janice is a, um, I think the color is ink. Um, I used to call it aubergine, but I think, I believe now it's ink with nickel hardware. The ink is a very, very dark purple, as you can see. It's almost black, but it's beautiful. I love how the Janice is just like one main compartment with a zip, or not a zip, a uh, slip pocket here at the back wall. I don't really use that slip pocket. I just dumped all my stuff inside. Um, so yeah, and it's got that uh, comfortable legacy strap. <clears throat> That's like a shoulder buckle strap on the sides. So yeah, it's it's really a nice bag. It's got that zip closure. So if you want security, it's all there. Yeah, that's the Coach Janice. And I've got another Janice, which is in blue. So this one I'm actually carrying today. Um, the color, I think, is... Is it Glacier? I'm not sure. But it's a really nice sky blue. <clears throat> Again, with nickel hardware. And same setup. Like, it's, you know, no feet. Um, zip on the top and a slip pocket inside so there's really nothing interesting but <clears throat> I love it that way it's nice and simple and very very light and it doesn't stick out um, when you do it crossbody so I really love Genesis next up is my coach Bella so this is the Bella court bag in British tan um, with brass hardware Again, there's a slip pocket here, and turn lock closure, and um, detachable, adjustable straps. I love the top handle on the on this bag. I actually generally love bags with one uh, one top handle anyway, so I'm biased that way. <laughs> uh, yeah, so inside it's got that finished flap, just like the quartz. And it's got a zip pocket here. It's a zip pocket there at the back. I'm not going to show you that. It's stuff full of paper. So, yeah, this is a Bella Court. I really, really, it's really cute. It's larger than the Winnie, which I will show you a bit later. And it's got that nice, um, you know, uh, rounded shape. And yeah, I love this bag. It's really in mint condition. I hope it stays mint. Because British tan doesn't age very well. And if you've seen a British tan bag that is um, not taken care of, it can get stained really, really badly. So anyway, that's that. The next one is my Lime Green Regina. So this is the Lime Green Regina um, with brass hardware. And this bag is one of my favorites. I love the Regina because it's big, it's, well, bigger than the Casino. And it's got a top handle again, turn lock closure. And really, it's one big compartment. There's one zip pocket at the back. I use it with that guitar strap there that you can see. And it's really nice and bright. So I really love this color on the Regina. I used to have the mahogany one, I sold that. I'm not really not feeling the mahogany on the Regina when I got the lime. I just used the lime more. So, yeah, there you go. Next up is my mahogany Winnie. So this is one of the cutest bags ever. Um, I love this one to bits. Um, again, back slip pocket, turn lock closure, adjustable or adjustable detachable strap. Um, this one has the dowel though. So this part. This wooden part is a dowel, and it holds the uh, the strap here. Inside, it's got the same setup as the Regina, only it has a slip pocket instead of a zip. So, really, really nice size. It's not too little, and it's really like smushy, 
So I really love this bag. It's so cute. Um, next one is my uh, Legacy Small Flap or what people call the trail bag. Um, I have been told that uh, it used to be called a trail bag at some point in time. So I'm not going to argue with that. But um, the 90s version is called Legacy Small Legacy small flap bag. <laughs> it's a handful to, to uh, or it's a mouthful to say. Um, so yeah, flap bag, um, slip pocket at the back. This this color is bone, by the way. So there you go. It's showing off through the color. It's like an off white, um, beige color. Um, again, one main interior, zip pocket at the back, and it's got that legacy strap nice thick strap it's very comfortable and this bag is very very light and I love that for it so I am I'm, I'm actually happy that it, that I got the one in bone because I don't think I would enjoy the one in black because I've just got like I get sick of black um, when it's all black so um, my casino in black is already enough but yeah I, I love that this one is white um, white and bright kind of thing so anyway yeah legacy small flap in bone and then I've got my beautiful bottle green court um, this one is in that nice gorgeous green brass hardware yeah, and you've seen all the courts before this one is in mint condition when I got it. Um, it's still in mint condition because I, I use it from time to time. But I do tend to baby this bag because I know it's in mint condition. <laughs> I know it doesn't make sense, but yeah. Um, again, similar setup, right? As any other court that you've seen. I just wanted you to see how beautiful the, that green is. So there you go. Bottle green court. And we're getting there. Uh, next one is my olive green prairie bag. Um, this one is a cute, cute style. I just recently rehabbed this one. And it's got its shape back. Um, it's got that uh, slip pocket at the back again. Turn lock closure. And this one is slightly different because the pocket here is gusseted. So meaning, by gusseted, meaning it's got depth to it, unlike the other bags. So you can put more stuff in the front pocket. And strap, zip pocket, main compartment. Same setup, right? I like how it's curved, just like the Bella. So it's curved this way and the flap is curved, which makes it look a little bit different than the rest of the bags. So yeah, olive green, olive green prairie. Um, next one is my collegiate bag. So this is like a mini city bag. Um, this one is a mini version of it. It didn't come with a strap. Well, it did come with a strap, but it shrunk. Um, I had a story about that. You can watch that in another video. But I do use a guitar strap on this baby. So again, you can put your phone here comfortably. Slip pocket, main compartment, and this is the guitar strap I use with it. It makes it really pop because it's like nice and white and striped, or I guess chevron. Um, flap, uh, slip pocket at the back, and just main compartment. So nothing too fancy, right? Like all other vintage coach bags. This one is originally red, but it it was um, it was painted over by someone um, when I bought it. The paint kind of stripped off and it was splotchy everywhere, so I decided to repaint it. So it's a painted red bag. And I know some people don't like that, but you know what? This is just for me. So I love how bright it is, and I use it from time to time. So one red bag is enough in my collection, and this is going to be it. Very usable size, very everyday size. I love it. And last but not least, it's my Coach Plaza bag in black and it's got a bit smushed at the bottom here now see it's like an, it's got a pot belly and it's uh, flattened at the bottom because they store it upright like this which I shouldn't but you know whatever lesson learned um, it's got that nice again curved uh, flap top handle like the court 
This is the large size, by the way. The plaza came with two sizes. One is small, one is large, and this is the larger one. So side by side with the cord, this one's actually bigger. And um, slip pocket, main compartment, zip, zip pocket at the back wall. Same setup as anything. And the back has a large slip pocket. So I do enjoy carrying this from time to time, but... If, I, if I'm being totally honest, this one's a bit heavier than all the other bags that you see at the back there. Uh, it, because it's got like that double leather construction on the flap. And it's a, just a generally larger bag with like giant lobster claw hardware. Like this is very weighty. So yeah. I don't carry it as often as my other ones just because of the weight. Um, but I think probably I will rehab this again just to get the, the shape back. Cause look at it right now. It's like flattened at the bottom and I don't like the look of that. But anyway, that's it. That's the large plaza. And yeah, that concludes the video. I, I hope that you guys, um, enjoyed it. Uh, I hope it's not too long. Um, so if you have any questions about it, please feel free to leave comments down below. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!